four year age differences. I know one that I'm thinking of that's pretty close to a 40 year age difference. They've been together now for what, seven or eight years? Still going strong, still doing great. Jeremy says, what does a 40 year old have in common with a 25 year old? The guy is the obvious winner in that relationship. Yeah, you know, the, the age differential is a very interesting thing, Jeremy. Um, I've been at this now for almost 30 years. I've seen five year differentials in relationships that go down in flames very quickly. And I've seen 40 plus year age differentials that are still going strong, okay? So it really, really depends on the two people involved. Yes, statistically, you have more risk without larger age differential, okay? Um, but that's statistic. When you get into, you know, couple by couple, person by person, it really depends on those two individuals. Um, you know, the divorce rate in the United States is about 50% um, or so. Some say it's even higher than that. And we have one of the slimmest age differentials pretty much in any culture. It's, it's very, very slim compared to most cultures. In a lot of other cultures, the age differential can easily be 10, 15, 20 years. Um, and we see that a lot with, with our couples, although I'd say the average age differential is about 11 or 12 years, with even with us, um, if you were to really kind of look at the average. But there are some outliers that have 30-year age differences, 40-year age differences. I know one that I'm thinking of that's pretty close to a 40-year age difference. They've been together now for, what, seven or eight years? Still going strong, still doing great. I know several that have 20, 25-year age differences that are still going strong. And the men and women have a lot in common and, and because that's who they are. But I've always said, if you're, say, a, I don't know, 50, 60 year old guy and you want to marry someone who's 20, 20, 25, even 30 years younger than you, then you better be willing to do all the things that you did 20, 25, 30 years ago and not expect her to live like someone who's 20 to 30 years older than she is because that's just not fair to her. You got to experience things that you want to do when you were younger. So, you know, there's an old saying, you know, you got to have the game to cover the spread. And if you've got that, then yeah, you can go and do that. But if you're going to, you know, watch Wheel of Fortune, drink a cup of warm milk and go to bed at eight o'clock, then no, it's probably not a good idea for you to marry someone who's much younger than you. I mean, it's about the people involved. It always is. So it's not just an age thing. You know, it's funny when we first started, we used to put the age of the women the up to, I'm interested in someone up to 30, up to 50, up to 60, right? We used to put that. Then we decided that that was worthless because the women who were saying that were marrying men that were much older than that. You know, we talked to them and said, well, I didn't know he was going to be like that when I met him. You know, uh, and, and I see that quite often, even with some of the affiliates where a woman's like, no, I only want someone who's like, 40, 45, not, not 50 or 55. And then they meet the 50 or 55 year old and, and it's great. And they, they laugh at themselves for almost not meeting that person, almost not giving themselves that opportunity. Um, again, it comes down to the person. That chronological age doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot once you get past, you know, 25, 30. Um, people age differently. They take care of themselves differently. They, their mental, um, the way they act, total personality, totally different. And it doesn't really have so much to do about age. All right, I'll get off my soapbox on the age. Are you tired of the same old dating sites? Travel to exciting places and meet hundreds of stunning single women. Check out our website at Mexico-Women.com.